Hey, in this episode of Jace Answers, I'm gonna answer this question we got. This is on this is from Facebook, and it's from Angelica Joy De Leon. Thank you, Angelica, for asking a question. Hello po, may chance po ba ako na makapag online jobs? Na decline po kasi ang account ko sa Upwork at less experience kasi ako. Pero gusto ko talaga siya gawin para makatulong din kay hubby sa mga expenses dito sa bahay habang nag-aalaga ako ng baby. Gusto ko, gusto ko naman po mag-enroll sa online course nyo pero di ko pa afford kaya hanggang YouTube tutorial na puna muna ako. Please help po. Okay, thank you Angelica for asking that question. That's a great question. And, your ans- and, and she's asking if... Is this really right for me? Is freelancing, is online work really right for me? Am I qualified? Can I get accepted for this? Because, and and Angelica, I understand why you're feeling discouraged. You're feeling discouraged because your account didn't get approved on Upwork, right? And just because your account didn't get approved, you think you're questioning, you're asking if this is the right thing for you. Well, it really is. The answer to that question is really up to you, Angelica. Okay? But, but, just because your account didn't get accepted on Upwork, that doesn't mean that you're not qualified to be a successful freelancer. And that, that doesn't mean you can't be a successful freelancer. In fact, nowadays, most of the, when you submit a new Upwork profile most of the time you're going to get declined the first the second maybe even three times even a lot of people get declined even more than three times before they can get accepted before they enhance their skills before they they add portfolio items before they gain some experience and they can get accepted on upwork because like and, and you understand that Upwork is trying to get quality freelancers, right? So they're not just accepting everybody. You have to meet like the minimum criteria. Now, for you to do that though, you have to, you don't need experience. You're saying you don't have enough experience. You don't really need work experience, but you have to have kind of some skills. And you're watching YouTube tutorials. Of course, the bootcamp will help, but you said you can't afford it right now. It's okay. Um, you can watch YouTube tutorials. You can learn new skills. Um, we have a lot of free content, a lot of free courses and videos and, and blog posts that can help you out as well um, to get some skills. And of course, you're going to have to practice on your own. It's, practice on your own. It's, it's hard, okay? It's hard. It's self-studying is hard. It's difficult, but you can do it. And it really all depends on how much you want to be successful. How much do you want to be able to help your husband earn money while being able to take care of your baby. Okay, how much do you want it? And if you want it enough, my my mic's falling down. Um, If you want it enough, then you will work hard. It is hard work. It is hard work to learn all this. It is hard work, let me adjust this. It is hard work to learn new skills, especially, uh, especially if you're just on YouTube. Sorry if this is distracting. Especially if you're just watching things like YouTube tutorials, what's wrong with this? Then, then it's hard because, you know, you watch one tutorial here, you watch another video, another video, and it gets very confusing because there's just so much information, and a lot of it is conflicting information. One thing says one thing says this, one thing says another. So it's hard. I understand that. But if you want it enough, if your heart is really in it, then you can get past the obstacles. You can definitely do it. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. So how much do you really want this? How much do you really want to get hired on online and being able to be able to contribute to the expenses? So it's not just your husband spending so you can all and also take care of your baby at the same time. How much do you want it? And if you want bad enough, then you can definitely succeed even if you don't enroll in, in courses like the bootcamp. Um, of course, if you do enroll in the bootcamp, it makes your life a lot easier because the, it's out, the course is outlined in such a way, which makes it, I guess, easier for you to learn. And we do have quizzes, we do have assignments, we, and you have like a whole group to support you. So it will really help you out. But we have seen a lot of people who still be who still are successful without the VA bootcamp. Um, it just takes harder work. Okay, now 
Upwork is not your only your num your only one option. Your one and only option. You can go to onlinejobs.ph. There's Hubstaff. There's Freelancer. There's so many other options out there that you can create a profile and apply for jobs. There's also Guru.com. Forgot to mention that. Um, so many options out there. So don't be stuck with Upwork. Um, but you know, keep on enhancing your skills. Keep learning. You know, you're taking care of the baby during your free time. Keep learning. Keep keep learning new things, keep practicing, keep enhancing your skills so that when you do get hired, you'll be ready, okay? And when you do get accepted in Upwork, you'll have a lot of knowledge, have a lot of skills and confidence to really take on those job applications and get hired immediately, okay? All right, I hope that answers your question, Angelica. Um, if any of you guys watching have questions for me, please comment in the, please ask in the comment section down below. Just type your in your question. Hit submit. I can answer anything about freelancing, about motivation, or anything in between, anything related. Or you can leave me a voice message over at ask.jasonduli.com. I'll talk to you guys later.